All right. So yesterday was pretty awesome. I woke up at, uh, I don't know, 6, 630, and I made bacon and eggs, and I watched a little YouTube, listened to WAMU 88.5 AM, FM, uh, which is NPR, my local NPR, and took a shower, put on my cycling bib and my uh, Nike Pegasus, made sure that my tires on my bike were properly filled, which I do before I ride every time, and uh, headed out from Dominion Towers and five miles later, after a lovely ride down Columbia Pike, took a left at 110, I think, and then went and took the exit to the back parking lot and went across the bridge to the park next to the marina and then zipped around and jumped onto the main uh, trail, the main bike path that goes along the river, uh, the Virginia side of the river, until I got to Roosevelt Island. Got there at 830 exactly when I was supposed to. And when I arrived, I locked my bike up all nicey nice. Oh, and I was able to uh, try out my new Camelback uh, hydration backpack, which was awesome. But I totally didn't have it set up right. So over the course of the day, I had my first uh, my first use of it. And it was like, I think, three liters of the water that was in the fridge, and I had put Relight uh, hydration in there, and uh, it was good, although it was hanging down low on my back, and I didn't have it cinched up, and I didn't have it set up right, but eventually it got good, and uh, I was there to be a tail walker, and I met a woman from who went to the same elementary school as I did, Ali Manu Elementary. Uh, we also were both um, uh, uh, crosswalk, um, uh, crosswalk like junior wardens or whatever. Uh, and uh, it was so awesome. She was a fellow tail walker. I think I looped her into it, and she was awesome. I think her name's Kim or Kate or Kat. Damn it terrible with names and it was great uh there was tons of trees that had fallen over at roosevelt island uh which is a dc national dc national park there and it's uh it was uh i was surprised it's very much an off-road trail and so it took me one hour 11 minutes to gently walk it uh what we did is we basically start walking after everybody starts running and then we just walk uh to the turnaround and then on the way back we pick up all of the cones and all of the signage and all of the uh little cones and the big cones and all that stuff so that was super fun it was very chatty very casual I was always completely surprised about how rocky a terrain it is. So when I got home, I ordered last season's model of Nike Pegasus Trail 4. And I'll try those out, though I think the regular Pegasuses are fine. And I got to meet a woman named Rita, and she and I, she's in her 60s. She and I chatted afterwards uh, at coffee hour. And it was fun, and I caught up with everybody else. Uh, people met me for the first time because not everybody goes to all of them. I just finished signing up until uh, every Saturday for Tail Walker until uh, through um, September 30th. So I'm going to be Tail Walker for the next two, one and a half months. And I'm committed to that. Uh, and then, you know, maybe starting October 1st, I'll be a runner, but I just want to commit to that 
and you get credit for all of those. You get double credit. You get credit for volunteering and you get credit for doing the course. So it's a double benefit. And I love it. And so I rode my bike over there. And then I rode my bike to the coffee hour afterwards. Um, and of course, when I got to the little hilly hill there uh, that crosses the bridge over to Roslyn, I walked it because I'm not there yet. Uh, and I've given myself full permission to walk my bike instead of turning my bike into an e-bike. And then I got there, I ordered a, a large Americano at McDonald's and sat with everybody along with my bike. And after that was over, I took my bike into the Roslyn Metro because I really didn't want to uh, ride up the uh, Wilson Boulevard from Roslyn to Courthouse, which is a another awful hill. So I took the bike into the bowels uh, and... Um, paid my my pass and took the uh, metro from Roslyn to Courthouse and then got out there and went to the bagel place there and had an everything bagel, a giant pickle. And um, on the everything bagel, I had white fish salad, which is my favorite food in the entire world. An everything bagel with lettuce, tomato, onion, uh, and a big dollop of white fish salad makes me the happiest guy in the world. I will always, if there's anything I will always cheat on, cheat with, it will be um, eggplant parmesan and a white fish salad bagel. Um, and then I went up and stopped at this bike shop that used to be Revolution Bikes where I bought my Surly Steamroller Um Originally had it ordered from Surly, had it made up there. Now it's a Trek bike store. Went in there, looked around, asked about bike shops, left, ran into a friend of mine who is both crazy and brilliant and homeless and rich and uh, constantly walking the street and uh, svelte and very stylish, always wears a fedora, but completely mad. And then... I rode across town to Idido's where I had uh, water. I drank the rest of my um, hydration bladder and had an espresso and got to catch up and talk to my favorite little barista, Claudia, who is um, fluent in Spanish because her dad is, is Costa Rican and then half Howley, half white girl. And then I talked to Symphonius, who owns the coffee shop, and I never get to catch up with him. He's always so busy, busy. So we talked about Ethiopian food and diets and and um, and so on and so forth. And then I jumped on the bike, went home, and then fell apart. Uh, but by the time 8 o'clock came around, I motivated myself to get onto my rowing machine. I have to get 10,000 meters done before the midnight of the 8th so that I could be part of the uh, Concept 2 um, doldrums, uh, summer doldrums challenge thingy, Bob. First week is 10,000 meters. Second week is 20,000 meters. Third week is 30,000 meters. And fourth week is 40,000 meters. So I can do 10,000 meters in my sleep, but I only did 3,000. Then I went to sleep. And today is Sunday. I'm going to transcribe this and post it as a race update. Um, oh, talking about the race, um, it was really great. We had enough volunteers that we had a volunteer at every fallen tree so that people wouldn't hurt themselves. So, like, even though it's an emergent thing and Park Run is sponsored by Brooks, we don't get any Brooks stuff, but... Nobody who goes has to pay. Nobody who goes um, has to volunteer. Um, everybody who attends and so forth, it's like uh, it's like 12-step um, where you get a, a coin based on how many years you've been sober. Um, park run, you get 
uh, points based on how many volunteers you've done or how many races you've done and so forth. And you get t-shirts and all this other stuff. Um, uh, what else? Lots of people visit from other places. There were people from Germany, people from the UK, people from lots of people, always from Australia. Um, I think there were people from Spain and, uh, what else? It's completely volunteer. Um, everybody put everybody it's gamified too. everybody who does anything, even the midweek volunteer email and everything, everybody gets credit for everything. So it's beautifully gamified. It's beautifully volunteery, feels a little churchy, a little culty. Definitely. It's a community and a little bit like 12 steps. Um, and you cannot go too slow. In other words, to be more clear, you can go as slow as you want. And there's no such thing as walking too slowly. You can walk as slowly as you want. As a trail walker, my official time was one hour and 11 minutes. So if you can do 5K faster than that, or even slower than that, you're completely welcome. Slow joggers with Nico Nico pace are completely welcome. And I love you guys. I want you to come every Saturday and join me. You're all welcome. Please, and also go to pork parkrun.us and parkrun.com um, and check to see if there's a park run in your local area. Lots of love, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Um, maybe I'll make this... Uh, uh, Chris Abraham show season five, episode 48 might as well. Right. And I'll call it, I'll call it a, um, park run race report from the Chris Abraham show. Thanks guys. That was a great idea. Much obliged. Love and kisses. Love you to death. Hugs and kisses, smooches, booches, and ciao. The Chris Abraham Show. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.